is Rob from the Lost Bricks. So today I'm in Bolton. It's a toy festival, obviously you can sell Lego and, and things. So I thought I'd come along and see what it's like compared to a brick festival. So I just want to look at the table, see where we are, and then take it from there. Okay, so these are our two tables for the day. They're roughly in the middle of the hall and the entrance is in the top corner. So you pre-book before you come and the tables are £36 each but you pay on the day so it's quite good if you need to cancel due to changing circumstances. Okay, as you can see the table is about 90% set up. So let's have a little look. So we've got a pick a brick, fill a cup up under the table. Go create your own little minifigure. There you go, there's some little bodies, the heads, legs, and the hair or hats. Got Christmas bobbles on the side, which we can move in the front in a minute. A couple of Harry Potter sets. There's a Ghostbusters trap, but obviously, because it's not a brick festival, but a toy festival, you can sell non Lego products as well. A couple of Christmas sets, as obviously it's coming towards Christmas. Got some poly bags, which are normally very popular. Couple of vintage sets, and then you've got some more poly bags and some blister packs. Got a couple of make and take little bags, set up to the table. Couple more Harry Potter sets. There's a sign saying we accept card payments using the sum up. Some minifigures in the display case. Some custom vehicles. It's the front end. Sesame Street and a couple of more sets. Star Wars tank. Got some more Star Wars sets here. Got some Speed Champion sets at the front. Lego Dimensions. Star Wars. Some Brick Sketch. You can always have a look at the front. Got a Pop Funkos at the front as well. They just said obviously because it's not a brick festival, can sell non Lego. And here we still put things in front of the table. It's in the brick festival, they really, really strict. Seemed a little bit more relaxed here with the setup. Okay, so now we set up. Let's have a little look around. As you can see, it's a bit quiet. So at the different stalls, so there's a lot of Hornby train sets. There's my stall there. You've already seen it. A person selling action man accessories. As you can see, there's a couple of really bird people that have already come in looking around. See if we can get any bargains. Hopefully, I come over to my store. Maybe I'll give them a little discount. Who knows? Another person selling some Lego sets. Nice Hornby train selection. You can see there's loads of different stalls and different things. It was mainly Hornby train sets. Some vintage dinky cars and matchbox on your service, yeah. Some big um, setups for our person, even at the last minute to set up. Compared to the ooh, sabotage your stall, ooh, another Lego seller. There was a couple of Lego sellers, but it wasn't on many there. Got all these little minifigures, some more vehicles. All different movie memorabilia, some turtles, Star Wars, okay as you can see the day is finished, it's now time to pack away, it's obviously sold quite a bit so it should be easier to pack away but it's still a nice selection left, no Christmas set sold, Okay, so my final thoughts on the toy festival I attended at Bolton compared to a brick festival. So Bolton was a lot cheaper. It was £36 per table compared to Cardiff brick festival. It was £51 per table with the booking fees. You had to pay previously with the brick festival. The Bolton toy festival, you could pay on the day as long as you was pre-booked. 
the footfall was a lot lower and obviously the customers coming in weren't just looking for the Lego, they were looking for all different things compared to a brick festival where they'd be looking for the Lego. The sales were quite a lot lower at both them and a brick festival, but it was still a very, very profitable day compared to selling items in other venues such as eBay with a higher turnover price per item. The other thing with Toy Festival is it's a lot easier to book than the brick festivals which sell out straight away. And you had security at the Toy Festivals walking around. And recently at the brick festivals, compared to the toy ones, there's no security and a lot of theft has been happening. People pinching Lego sets off the stalls, which is really, really bad. Um, the Toy Festival was, as I said, it was quite busy. I would definitely do both the Toy Festival again or a different venue depending on the time and the location of it. It's couple coming up before Christmas which would be ideal since in quarter four and um, people would buy a lot more towards the Christmas period. It was nice to see a couple of people which recognised me from my YouTube channel and also Discord sellers there as well and even came over to say hello. So thank you guys, it means a lot to me, really appreciate that. So bye for now and don't forget to share, like and subscribe.